Well guys, headed in. Pretty good sunrise bite, a lot of blues, one scup. Uh, looks like they were hitting or they're eating. Good morning, everybody. It's dark, it's early. Got my coffee. Sprinklers are still going off. Snuck out of the house. Let's go fishing. So here's the deal. The spot that I'm headed to is a spot that I normally go out of. It's right by the marina. And I've been down there a couple times over the last few days. Liz and I like to do coffee on the dock in the morning. And we went down there for dinner at the boathouse the other day. And fish were blowing up all over the place. Uh, I did a video the other day about a, a striper frenzy that I kind of went into. Take a look at that. Uh, but there's definitely bait fish all over the place. You can see them breaking the water just by sitting on the dock. They're, they're, they're all over the place. Something's definitely driving the fish up this far in the bay. And the theory is that today when I go out there, the A, the water is going to be calm and we'll be able to see some stuff. The other day I got there towards the tail end of the morning bite. I'm going to get there for sunrise today. See if I can capitalize on the entire sunrise uh, bite. And I brought only a couple things with me. I brought a top water uh, popper. I brought a, a swim shad. And I brought my uh, bucktail jig. And I brought some shrimp, some squid strips, and some uh, uh, gulp bait. So I'm going to be able to hit all three water columns. And if they're not hitting on all three of the water columns, I brought my tube and worm and a rattle trap to troll around. So I got everything covered this morning. Um, I keep it pretty simple in my tackle box. I don't bring a lot of stuff with me. It's just more stuff that to deal with when you're out there on the water. And uh, yeah, uh, should be good. Sun's coming up. No clouds in the sky. It's been crappy weather the last couple of days. Been stirring up the water. There was a small craft advisory yesterday, so I'll stirring up the water. So hopefully uh, I got the fish all fired up and ready to go. But uh, yeah, we'll find out. Smooth as glass. Nice and quiet, no one else on the water. All right, let's keep an, an eye out for birds. Keep a listen out for any kind of splashes. See if anything comes up. Look at that sunrise, good Lord. Been out here about 10 minutes. I don't know if you can see the birds right over here. They're all circling and uh, making all sorts of racket for some reason. It's starting to blow up around me. Nope, got one. Got one. Oh. First cast. What do we got? Oh, blue. Oh, foul hooked them. All right, take it easy, take it easy. Holy cow. Holy cow. Oh, this is a disaster. Absolute disaster. Bro. Decent size blue. But look at the birds. Holy cow. Goodbye. Hopefully there are more than just blues in there. Chasing it. Yep. There we go. Another one. Oh. Come on. Feels like another blue. Yep. Pitch it. Woo. Another fish in a boat. Another blue. Look at these guys, they're freaking nuts. This is why my popper's all messed up. There's another one. All well, the birds are gone. That's not bad. Two cats, two fish. Take that ratio all day. All right, guys, I'm kind of new to the fish finder fishing, using a fish finder. 
but I'm reading that as bait under the water. And if, if that's not right or if that's something else, uh, comment below because I want to make sure I'm reading this correctly. This is kind of what I've been following around and the blowups have been happening in the general area of these, what I'm interpreting as bait. But if that's not right, if that's something else, uh, comment below, let me know. Me and the birds, I don't know if you can see the birds, but me and the birds just waiting for the next blow up. Man, if you're in a kayak and you're fishing, and you're not following birds, you're doing something wrong. Go, got one. Oh, there we go, I got a jumper. Another blue. Oh! Not only did he break me off, he broke off with my favorite popper that I've had for probably 10 years. Oh, that is absolutely heartbreaking. Son of a gun. So I'm changing up tactics a little bit. The surface bite seems to slow down a little bit. Doesn't mean it won't spike up again. Not that it matters. I lost my freaking popper anyway. But as I was trolling past this uh, catamaran, I know it's a pretty big bait ball. You can kind of see it on the screen right there. I don't know if you can. But underneath it, there's a bunch of fish just hanging out on the bottom. So I put the bucktail jig on and uh, put some shrimp on there. Gonna hit the bottom and see if we can't get something to come up. That's the plan anyway. Hopefully I'm reading the screen properly. Got one on the jig. Oh, what do we got here? Doesn't feel very big, whatever it is. Oh, yes! Gotcha. Oh, you took my shrimp, you little bastard. So the GoPro died. Gotta start bringing out multiple batteries, I guess, when we come out here. Uh, so it's gonna be cell phone video only at this point. Birds are still going all over the place. Well guys, headed in, pretty good sunrise bite, a lot of blues, one scup. Uh, looks like they were hitting, or they're eating a peanut bunker. I know someone asked me in the last video what they were eating. Uh, just about all the blues I caught today were spitting up uh, peanut bunker as I was bringing them in the boat. So that's what the, that's the bait fish are going after, and it is everywhere. I mean, I'm still marking a ton of it, of bait fish anyway, on the fish finder on the way in. But a uh, great morning and uh, look forward to next time.